Hi everyone. I wanted to do a quick book review. The book I am reviewing today is Abraham Lincoln's Vampire Hunter. Okay, I know what you're all thinking, right? Oh my god, Casey's reading a scary book. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so <laughs> I'm a big chicken if you didn't know that. Yeah, it's out there. Bunny finally got me into reading some scary books. I want to call them scary books. They're scary to me. I started out with Graveminder and it had zombies in it and I don't like zombies too much. They kind of freak me out. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I wanted to also read. Well, I got through that okay. I didn't have any nightmares. I was good. I'm like, okay, I can I can handle this. I wanted to try Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Now that is a tongue twister if I ever knew one. Anyway, got through that and I really enjoyed it. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Back to that. When that first cover came out, I didn't like it. Didn't appeal to me. Didn't want it on my shelf. It it just sort of freaked me out. I didn't I didn't want to look at that. It's just kind of creepy. You know, with blood and ew, right? <laughs> so when they came out with the movie tie-in cover, which is oh, awesome. Hello. Oh, it oh, it drew me in. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. However, this new cover design drew me in. Okay, and that's what it took for me. I went home, I got online, I went on YouTube, and I researched and found the movie trailers for this book. And, oh my gosh, I want to see the movie. So, I went ahead and I read the book. Now, mind you, it said horror fiction on the back. Ugh. But I wanted to watch that movie, and I wanted to read the book first. So, picked up the book. Now, it took me four days to read it. Just four. <laughs> But let me tell you, <laughs> the first two nights, I was afraid to go to bed. No, I'm serious. I'm a big chicken. No, I am. I was like pulling the covers over my head. I was, I heard the AC kick on at night and I was freaking out. I was like, what's that sound? <laughs> I just felt like somebody was watching me and everybody was asleep and there I am reading a scary book at night time. I'll never do that again. I think next time I need to read something like this during the day. <laughs> but let me tell you, this this book was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's would be good for, you know, younger age children, 14, 15, unless they're, you know, at a higher reading level and they can handle something like that because, you know, I'm pretty up there in age and it freaked me out. <laughs> what I loved about this book is the historical facts and you know because you can google just about anything nowadays and the historical facts on Lincoln were really interesting. Now I'll tell you if if history class was taught like this when I was in school I'd have probably paid more attention because when I was in school it was dreadful, it was dull, it was boring, oh I hated it. I just it was all I could do just to get through it. I just did not like it, but I enjoy this now. He, Seth Graham Smith, he went ahead and put, he, he tied in together, you know, like the fictional story of, of vampires. Now, I've got to say, this is fiction, people. It's not real. Vampires do not exist, and, and if I'm wrong, and they do, do not let them watch this video because I don't want them coming to my door, okay? All right, just put that out there, just making sure. Okay, <laughs> so he wove, you know, fiction together with with real, real history, and I thought it was wonderful. I, he did a really good job. He did awesome, and, and if you have not read this, and and you don't mind reading scary books, pick this up. This is, this really, in my opinion, put, I mean, and I enjoyed Graveminder, and I enjoyed Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, but this, in my opinion, was better than those and and I enjoyed both of those other books as well but I, I really I speak a lot I speak highly of this book now as you all know if I love a book I will buy it and I will give it as gifts I did this I bought all four of our boys we have six children 
I have four boys. I bought this book and gave it to each one of them, and, and they loved it. Now, the movie is fixing to come out on DVD. I can't wait. I know I can't close my eyes reading a book, <laughs> but I hope I can keep my eyes open watching the movie. Now, my husband, he's fixing to read the book as well, and I, and I hope he gets it done before the movie comes out on DVD. I can't wait. I'm terribly excited. And um, if you have the chance, you know, look up the movie trailers. If you've not seen the movie clips or trailers, um, you know, the book's always better than the movie. I think I think you'll really enjoy this book. And for me, you know, I'm a I'm a big chicken, and I got through this, and I I think you would enjoy it as long as you're not too young. I you know that's that's important. I don't want somebody that's young watching this video and saying, oh, well, Casey said it was a good book. Yeah. Only for, you know, this is adult, you know, I, I, I don't know, is it YA? Somebody let me know that I've got to say adult fiction on this one because it, well, it scared the pants off me, okay? <laughs> but if I could give it 10 stars, I would, but, you know, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 if that's how you do it. But it was, it was a great book. I enjoyed it. I really did. And, hey, you know, kudos to me for, uh, reading this is like a step up from the other books. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I really did. And it, it didn't take me too long to get over um, is somebody watching me type thing when I went to bed. I still sort of think about it. I think I need to stay away from Bunny and Lindsay Mead during the month of October. Yeah, they'll probably be scaring me with something. <laughs> So, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and um, and and please pick it up. I I really enjoyed it. As long as you're, as long as you're old enough, you know, just put that out there. <laughs> All right, you have a great weekend. Bye. Now, seriously, people, just listen. I like Twilight. I really did. I loved it. I, I wasn't like one of them crazy fans that they have going on out there, but <laughs> I really did enjoy Twilight a lot. But you know, when we put this compared to this <laughs> there is no contest he did not kill sparkly vampires because they don't exist they do in forks okay but <laughs> yeah Abraham Abraham would have kicked Edward's butt I'm sorry. He was a bad dude. He just... <sighs> Abraham had it going on, people. I'm going to tell you. He had it going on. <laughs> it was like this. <laughs>